Good morning, Matthew Soper here from Hampshire Carnivorous Plants. And today I'm gonna to show you how to uh, sow Saracenia seed. And if you've bought some of these from us recently, uh, this is what you need to do. Um, firstly, I would say the best time of year to sow your seeds is around about February, March. And if you're gonna do that, pop your seeds into the fridge where the eggs go, just up in there until next March, and that stratifies the seed and you get much more even germination. Um, you can either store them dry, or I know some growers that store them with a bit of damp sphagnum, and this can really help them germinate quickly when you get them out in the spring to sow them. So when it comes to sowing the seed, this is what you do. I always like to start with a plastic pot. This is a nine to 10 centimeter new pot. It doesn't harbor any disease, so it's nice and new. Fill with some of our COM1 use for the saracenia don't press it down too much just gently flatten the surface off I like to break up some of the compost fine and just sprinkle this on the top so it's easy for the new young roots to make their way down into the compost like that flatten it off again I use one of our sprayers these are available on the website just to mist the top. Right. That's ready to go now. Get your seed. I like to tip them out into my hand. There we are. They're not that small. And then you just gently sprinkle them onto the surface. You can do them individually, one by one, it's better than get too close together then. So just pop them on the top like that. There, make sure there's none. Get a gentle pass down, make sure there's none stuck on your hand like we've got one there. They make good contact with the compost. And then you like to stand them in a tray with rainwater. And don't forget to label them up. You should really put a date on there, but this is just to show you how to grow them, proper labeling them. Now, if I was gonna grow them in an unheated greenhouse, I'd just pop them in the greenhouse like this, around about the end of February, and they would usually start to germinate in four to six weeks. To speed the process up, you can use a clear polythene bag to pop over the seedlings carefully. There. That could be left on top so they can get a bit more warmth as it were. And again in the greenhouse. You can do this on a window seal, a sunny window, so just remember to keep them very wet. As I say, the seedlings germinate in four to six weeks usually. I've had them take longer, I've had them take up to 10 weeks, so don't give up on them. Make sure they're always wet from below and just keep an eye on them on top. You'll first see the first root coming out, it's quite obvious, and the seed will sometimes start to stand up slightly on the side. After a few months, you can have a, a group of seedlings like this, and these ones really were done uh, sort of middle of last year. These are really ready to be gently pricked out and potted on into individual pots. Don't leave them too long, big mistake. These really are at their limit. If you leave them too long, they stay stunted and they take a lot longer to make big plants. So these really should be taken out and put into individual pots of their own. Now I hope that's helped with uh, what to do with them because we've been asked a lot, a lot about that. Um, and good luck with sowing your carnivorous plants.